Over the next three days, we are going to take you on a journey to help you move forward, not just envision what is possible, but create an action plan. Three days filled with inspiration, insights, practical tools, and resources to help you move forward. But before I give you a preview of the amazing things that we have planned, I want to share a little bit of the story about Palm Desert and this resort in particular. Like I said, it's an honor for me to be here for, with you today. Palm Desert is where it all started for me. This is where I got my first job in TV news. Palm Desert. It was a couple years after college. I was working five days a week at Paramount Pictures, and I got the call. I was 23 years old. I was like, this is my big break. But it was only for the weekend reporter role. I said, you know what? I don't care. I want to learn as much as I can. So every weekend, I would drive here to Palm Springs two and a half hours. I worked at KMIR, which is the NBC affiliate, just a few miles from here. And I remember driving by this amazing hotel, this resort, on the way to my hotel, the Motel 6. <laughs> I told you I was 23 years old. That's what I could afford at the time. In fact, I probably used all the money that I had made as a weekend reporter just to play, pay for a place to stay. But I didn't care. I was willing to do whatever I could to make it. Now, this resort, isn't it amazing? How many of you went golfing yesterday? Woohoo! That means you did good. The pool, the grounds, what a lovely day we have here. And we have three days filled with it. You're going to be here with me, but you're also going to have some chance to enjoy Palm Desert and the resort as well. So I worked five days a week at Paramount Pictures in Hollywood and then worked two days a week here in Palm Springs. I worked the 11 p.m. shift for Saturday night as well as Sunday night. Then I drive back home to Los Angeles and work at 8 a.m. the next morning. I was exhausted. But I didn't care, because I was young and I was willing to do whatever I needed to do to succeed. Have you guys ever done that? Worked hard to achieve your goal? Done certain things beyond you, what you thought your limitations were? What about, did you ever play a part? Did you ever feel like you had to do certain things? So it's probably not a good thing at a young age, but I think when I was younger, I felt like I had to play a certain part. I remember I chopped off my hair because I had to have anchor hair. I wore big, bright, boxy suits. Remember with the big shoulder pads? You guys have some of those in your closet? That was the style back then, right? I even tried to talk with a really low, deep anchor voice because I thought that's how anchors spoke. I tried to play a part. I didn't realize that at that time, even though I was young, I already had all the skills I needed to succeed. I didn't need to play a part. But that takes some time and experience, right, to truly own your power and your voice. And I'm still redefining it every day. So that's what now I teach other people how to do. As a media and communication coach, I help people own their power and their voice and to share their message with the world. And I share this story with you not to tell you my career path, but rather to have you see that sometimes maybe you or your organization may feel like you need to play a certain part do what other people are doing. Be like somebody else in order to succeed. And I'm here to tell you I believe. I believe you already have everything you need inside you to shine and succeed. You just need to discover it and amplify it. Think about it. Credit unions are unique. Why did you join the credit union community? What makes you shine? You need to rediscover your core, amplify your strengths, and remember what makes you, you. You don't need to be like someone else or play a different role. And that's what we're here to do at REACH.